Hi, I'm Matt Duncan. I'm an artist and one of the editors on the Two Arms Anthology. Hi, I'm Daniel DeSosa. I'm originally from Chatsworth, California, which is redneck outskirts of Los Angeles. I came to London to study architecture at the University of East London. Um, it's pretty much the worst university in the UK, but the good thing about it is I met two guys who do comics and I started doing comics with them and we created this collective called Backwards Burning. My name is Jess Milton and I'm a comic book artist and illustrator. Two Arms is a comic book anthology about the First World War and of course this year is the 100th anniversary of the start of that conflict and uh, so we're uh, marking the occasion. Comics are just amazing for getting across emotion in so many different ways involving text and images and I mean so much of history is made up of comics and cartoons anyway. Like punch cartoons and newspaper cartoons and satirical cartoons and I, I feel like it's always been kind of interlinked with cartoons in that I way. I think more comics like this should be made, not comics that are just trying to beat you over the head with the message, not comics that are just mainstream Marvel DC type of black and white good and evil adventure fair. Um, my story is a kind of, uh, I guess you could call it a slightly fantastical take. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a fictional story uh, which starts in the war and then it kind of veers off into a kind of a, a, a almost dreamlike um, vision. And so, uh, yeah, I mean that's that's as much as I can say about it without without giving it away. But yeah, it's, it's where I'm coming from. Um, my project is about sort of the lives of women working in munitions factories at the time. Um, there are quite a lot of stories about women who, because of their exposure to TNT and other chemicals, suffered quite horrific poisoning and had really detrimental health problems because of it. And it was kind of an interesting time for women anyway because of suffrage and campaigning for the vote, which they still hadn't received by the time they started to help out with the war effort. So I kind of wanted to explore the idea that they were sort of laying their lives on the line for their country in the same way that the men were, a similar way, um, and kind of didn't get any reward for it for a long time afterwards. Hmm. Well, it's called The Man Who gets shot down a lot. It's written by Kareem. It's kind of based on a short story I did a few months ago just about a guy who is the worst fighter pilot in the world and he gets shot down and, but he still keeps going up in the air and um, I guess I was just kind of inspired to do it by watching Porco Rosso which is a film actually set in the 1930s, 20 years after World War the way these guys had these planes that hardly ever worked and like how they were specked out in specific ways by like you couldn't believe I mean just like there's this period and every mechanic because aeronautics was such a young field all the mechanics are telling you different advice the pilots don't really know what they're doing and they just kind of go for it you know there's, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of movies and TV shows and books obviously about the First World War and um, it's maybe a subject which hasn't been explored in, in comics too much so there's a lot of uh, new stuff that can be done with it. I think what's really interesting about the comic form is you can, with every artist, with their, with their style of art and their approach to the subject matter, they can have a completely different take on, on, on this event. So that, that's what's interesting about it. So uh, much like World War I, to arms is in international collaboration. That's true, yeah. Um, so Dan's American, obviously. Uh, we got a Canadian lady, uh, Susan McLeod. Um, Is it true we even have an Italian? Yeah, Perhaps we have. one of the untold perspectives of World War One. <laughs> yeah, we've got Lorenzo, he's an Italian artist. Uh, he's doing a story for us. Um, uh, we've also got an Australian guy, uh, Keith. 
Um, yeah, so we got people coming. So it's, yeah, just like World War One, people coming from all around the world coming to to create a project to create something. Only instead of war, comics, beautiful <laughs> comic. Where